Okay, folks, today I want to talk about surge protection. You know, during the summertime, a lot of the power companies with lightning and the storms and the power company doing brownouts and things like that. Uh, with the high demand, a lot of times there's power surges up on your house. By the way, I recommend everyone having a 200 amp surge protector on their main electrical box coming in, and that needs to be tied into the line side You'll have to get your licensed electrician and do that for you. But after the fact, sometimes we actually add surge protection on water heaters sometimes, pool heaters sometimes, and specifically air conditioning equipment because uh, a lot of times this air conditioning equipment anymore has so many electronic components in it that if you don't put some sort of extra layer of protection on that thing you can blow circuit boards and the motors themselves are electronic ECM motors blow those boards so today I'm here at a customer's house and she asked me to add a surge protector on her AC system so I went and purchased one so we're just gonna walk through this real quick I took the liberty of doing a lot of the prep work in order to keep this video short I just want you to understand that doing this can save you hundreds of dollars because then you have to get a technician out there hopefully your parts are under warranty and things like that so this is just to help the consumer to uh, be more aware of what could happen first thing i want to show you is this right here uh, we want to disconnect all the power going to the disconnect and uh, we always mark our air handlers you see how i got the breaker marked air handler one and condensing unit one heat pump one this is very critical i tell all my owners please mark the breaker box don't go over here because a lot of times this is not marked correctly and if you had an emergency you wouldn't know which breaker to shut off you just start shutting off everything because you're not 100 percent sure so i just want to make that point so now i want to talk to you about the uh, surge protector <clears throat> i have an intermatic surge protector here that's made by Intermatic and there's several one several on the uh, market but I find that this is one of the better better ones and a lot of times we get them rated uh, up to 200 amps and they have to be tied to the line side of your source line side is power coming in load side is power going out a couple things I just want to point out with this particular unit here here's just a quick diagram you got three wires and it shows one to the line side the other one to the neutral side and the other one to the ground side and i'll show you what that really means inside the biggest point i want to make out here is this particular device carries a seventy five hundred dollar warranty okay so when your owner fills this out she'll send it in and she can get a seventy five hundred dollar warranty on this if it's registered and that's one reason why I like the Intermatic. So if you she, she loses a motor or something that's out of warranty, that they'll help her with the repair bill, okay? So here's what I did here. I went ahead and took the liberty of knocking the knockout out here, and it's a half inch knockout. Here's the plug. So I just, I just knocked it out. I went ahead and screwed it in. It's got these lock nuts on it. Right here's a very important feature. It's waterproof. Okay, and then the wires are coming in. <clears throat> Here is the ground. I was showing you the ground outside. Now, what I went ahead and done is I went ahead and tied this in. One thing that you need to know is you do not want to cut these leads off, and you sure don't want to add to them. Okay, it's very important. These things are designed from the factory at a certain length, so you don't want to add or take away from this lead. And you'd like to get about a four inch a uh, curve, a four inch roll into your uh, device. Okay, so, so yeah, I've kind of rolled that one up. I've rolled it up and put in four inch here. I've also taken this line side and I've rolled these up and these were loose by the way. This is what I've done. I just took it and I actually stripped off just a little bit and the line side of this particular disconnect is at the top. So that's why we wanted to make sure the breaker was shut off. I did check the voltage I would recommend that my owners use licensed electricians to do this. So I'm going to take and I'm just going to put the wire in here. And I'm going to lock this up. For those electricians that might see this, there are already some like no locks on these lugs inside. 
for corrosion purposes because this is aluminum okay and then you just want to make sure this is nice and tight guys see i'm tightening up i'm gonna put the other one in slide it in make sure it gets a good bite i always do the pull test see it popped out that's what i'm talking about right there guys you got to make sure you have a good bite on these things because sometimes these wires will shift and i'm just going to tighten it up here okay pull pull tight now i'm going to roll these in nice and neat so I can get my four inches as much as I possibly can. And I'm gonna put my breaker, I put this breaker out so I can have access to these lugs, okay? Because trying to work around this breaker is difficult. So of course we're gonna snap the breaker and this is a square D breaker. Okay, I'm gonna pull this to make sure it's all tight. But the cover goes here. I'll just go ahead and stick it on, it's not that big a deal. Okay, make sure everything's nice and sealed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the breaker here and you'll see a green indicator light that shows that it's on, okay? I'm going to leave this breaker off because I'm working on this particular condenser. I'm going to go back here and turn the breaker on, see you. See that's marked? That number one, by the way, is one system, okay? So if you had like two systems, three systems, you'll have an idea which one you're working on. Okay, let's look at this. See this green indicator light right here? Come over here and look at this. And as long as that green indicator light is on, that means that everything is functional and you have protection, okay? And that's the key. So anytime you have a storm, you have a brownout, you have a problem, look at that light. Folks, what I've done is real simply, I did a lot of the work here. I didn't want to waste time on this video watching because these guys that are doing this should be licensed electricians and, and qualified handymen to do this anyway. The point I'm making is get surge protection. Your AC equipment is very expensive. The third largest purchase in your life is your AC equipment, house, appliances, or this. Get a surge protection, have a licensed electrician do that today, and good luck with this. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you again.